Hey guys, um, this is Sims and Wins, and welcome back to another episode of our Sims 2 Build the City Challenge. So once again, I booted the game without don downloading uh, Monique's computer, because I, I told myself, I told myself today, before I opened the game, I was like, remember to download the mod first and then open the game. Well, I already opened the game, so I haven't downloaded it yet, so I will be doing that sometime this episode, because I do intend to do that. However, now we are playing the Kramer family. So who are these people? This is... Astrid Kramer, she married, okay, so hold on, she married Sinric. Sinric is the third son of Anna Kramer the witch, who she had with Billy Kramer back in the day when she died, when she was pregnant, and then he got sent to the orphanage, and then he met Astrid, and they have two kids, Giselle and Hayes. He's got, um, he's actually got four brothers, because this dude, if you remember, first he had Anna Kramer the witch, Right, and then I think what happened was he died, he died, and then Anna Kramer was left alone raising the kids, all sad and so stuff, and then she dies in a fire while she was pregnant with her third son, so her, she had given birth to the two, she was pregnant with a third, Sinric, I'm pretty sure that's Sinric, and then she dies, so then at some point, um, the two kids, the kids get sent to the orphanage, and then someone resurrects Billy, but he comes back to life and he sees that his wife is dead. So he gets remarried and has another two sons with his new wife. And then Anna Kramer got resurrected and she comes back to life and she sees that her husband got remarried. And then she ended up giving birth to this third son. And this is how Billy Kramer ended up with five sons. Um, anyway, uh, the storylines were nice in the beginning. I have to like add something else. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I need like some divorces, some deaths, some something. The the most interesting that's happened lately is my sim self dying and um the gold digger chick marrying her nephew by marriage. Um anyway, so why did I start recording? Because Astrid here is about to give birth to the third child. I figured they have a big house. Why not? Why not have a third child? This house I did not build. It's gorgeous from the outside. But because it's like old school villa oh i lost custom content here did this have custom content why did i think that this house did not have custom content so what did i lose here i lost something for this to turn like this um anyway we'll just make it like that uh, is there any, i think the windows also are not the windows that came with the house i'm pretty sure but they must have gotten replaced. Maybe it did have some custom content. I don't remember. But anyway, I downloaded this house. My, I like it from the outside. My problem with this house and the reason why I don't enjoy playing this family is I find it so hard to furnish. Like, I don't know. Like, you want to go with this old school kind of look, right? Because that's what the outside looks like. But I just have such a hard time furnishing this kind of a thing. And they didn't have much money until now, so they just got some money. So I guess I could keep going. I just, I don't furnish it because I don't like it. I don't like the floor plan. I don't like that the like the living room's all the way over here. I, I don't know. I don't like this house. Um, but we're just dealing with it because I don't like this family that much anyway. Um, so she, Astrid is, who is Astrid? Astrid is, who is Astrid again? Oh. Astrid, right. Astrid was the child of Zachary and Kaylin Spitzig. And they, she has a brother named Michael Owens who's ended up, who ended up marrying Electra? They have a kid. Now she's. Uh, they do have a half sister, Amelia, because this dude Zachary ended up having a one night stand with Lucy Brown, and that's how Amelia came into fruition. But Astrid has a real, an actual brother, and then a half sister. So that's how she married. Um, what's his face, Sinric, and they have two kids. So she's about to give birth to their third child. Let's see what it is. Okay, there's a new family member on the way. Let me make sure that I haven't muted my headset. Oh, I muted my headset. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I accidentally press that button back there. What is it? It is a girl. Ooh, a girl. Okay, what are we going to name her? We have Giselle. We have Hayes. Um, what should we name her? Y'all haven't been leaving me baby names. Um, Wendy? That's my new dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy is my new dog's name. Uh, should we name her Wendy? Uh, or maybe we can go with a G name. Um, so Giselle and 
Genevieve, Genevieve, I don't know how that name is pronounced, Guinevere, Gwen, 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 why not Gwen? Gwen is fine, Gwen is cool, Gwen, her name is Gwen. <laughs> okay, uh, so she's got a kid now, um, no more kids for you though, you're like getting into geriatric uh, um, mode here. Oh, I do have free will on, let me turn that off because it's a pain in the butt. Okay, I guess we can put a crib in their room until she grows up and then they can share a room together. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, that's it. She's got a baby. Uh, the kids are going to grow into teenagers at the end of the sim week. They fell behind on homework because the truth is I needed to clean my bathrooms. And this family, I don't like it that much. So I may have left it on free will for the first like two or three days of the sim week okay and they haven't been doing their homework so they're behind on homework but that's okay it's okay who cares i don't like this family that much anyway <sighs> you know how you just have favorites there are some families i really enjoy playing and then there are some families that i could not be bothered with and some houses and uh, the house really makes a difference for me um like if the house is nice and i've built it and i'm familiar with it and I've chosen everything for it, then it's different, but whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll come back when the kids grow up and we can check out the kids. She's got an unfortunate face, unfortunately. But you know what? That's okay. And not everybody can be beautiful in this world, okay? Some of us have some problems, some flaws, and some of us don't. It's okay. You know, it happens. Um... Yeah, so uh, I'll come back when uh, something interesting happens. All right, so I have decided to throw these kiddos a birthday party because all three of these kids are going to grow up right now. So I feel like we might as well invite some of the family, the sister-in-law, and a friend. All right, that should be fine. Grandma's coming too, and a cream of the witch is coming. Okay, so I've got three cakes for every kid. Let's go serve some food. Uh, it's going to be a nice pool party outside. Oh, my shower is broken. My bathtub is broken. Um, let's go have fun outside. Let's get a nice pool party going. Let's start diving. Um, hopefully people start coming out. Out here. Out here is where we want to be, people. Out here. Okay. Where is everybody? Are they coming? Oh, they're coming. Please don't crash. <laughs> Sometimes parties crash my game. All right. We've got the uncles. Um, we've got grandma. Where's grandma? Oh, there's Grandma the Witch. Um, okay, so everybody come out to the pool. I guess we could call everybody by actually... Let's bring the baby to the cake first. Okay, so let's go get the baby. And that'll actually make everybody come out here. Let's bring Gwen to the cake. Um, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Okay, I finally got everybody here. I took a screenshot of the little baby growing up. Let's get this baby aged up. There we go. Oh, she's unfortunate looking too. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's get her a quick t potty thing real quick so she doesn't pee in herself right now. Out here. Um, okay, mom, can you bring her to the potty real quick? Okay, now let's get the kids grown up. So you're going to get the blue one and she's going to get the yellow one. Oh, wait. Um, people, I want her to potty. Okay. Can you take her to the potty, please? There we go. Okay, the kids are about to blow out the candles. Um, I suppose I should take a screenshot, but... Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to take a screenshot so that I can have a nice thumbnail here. Because they're outside. It's like the, I don't do outdoor things for a while. I think it's my camera's in the way. All right, let me stop recording. I'll be right back. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, so I stopped um, separating my audios from game to my mic because uh, it was just taking a while to edit. And, oh, he's not so bad looking. Anyway, so I put them together. But the thing is, when the Sims are really loud, it's a pain in the butt. Um, let's give him... Okay, I guess I should do this properly. Siri, pick a number between one through six. Two. She picked two people. Two. All right. So he is a money sim. Okay. We don't need anyone to age up. He's actually not that bad looking. He's cute. 
All right, now the girl. Let's have her age up. Grow up. It's time for you to grow up. Oh, she's not... Uh, okay, she's she's a little bit, a little unfortunate. Okay, let's ask Siri here. Siri, pick a number between one through six. I said one through six. Pick a number between one through six. Thank you. One. Oh no, not a pleasure sim. Not a pleasure sim. Maybe we'll change it in college. Oh, I didn't do her um turn ons either. That's fine. Let's please don't be into like weird things. You're into gray hair, of course you are. Of course they picked something weird. What is she into? Cost uh oh, full plus makeup. Okay, we're gonna have to change that at some point. Um anyway, okay, so everybody's nice and happy now. This is gonna be a great party, I think. Let's get these kids diving into the pool. Um everybody should be eating. Why don't you go have some turkey? All right, the toddler um, is happy, <clears throat> I think. All right, so I'm just going to finish up the sim week. Nothing really else is going to happen. We had their birthday party. I'm starting to kind of decide what I want to do with this house. I've kind of picked a color scheme. I fixed up one bathroom. Uh, I've fixed up two rooms, but I'm not completely uh, thrilled. But I'm probably not going to finish it this time because I hate this house. So I'm just going to finish up this in a week and then ugh, the phone. Let me stop recording these sounds, I swear. All right. So now I am playing one of the Richardson families in one of these houses that I downloaded a long, long time ago. I think there's been at least two families passing through these houses. So this is the house I downloaded. It's really nice for family. Um, they have three kids, so they're teenagers now. So it's not as useful as it used to be for kids. Um, so this is Iris Cook. She was a Richardson, I believe. Yes, so she was the daughter of Emily Roseland and Sid Roseland. Um, her brother is Danny, and she ended up marrying Elliot Cook. And they had three kids, Talia, um, Eric, and Hector. So Talia is going to go to college this some week. Um, there's no love interest for her yet. I do not believe. There's no love interest for her. Eric was into Nikita, but I think Nikita abandoned him and went with someone else, if I remember correctly. Um, so Eric is does not have a love interest right now. And Hector is into Melody Tinker from the Blue Water Village that we included last um, cycle. At the end of the cycle, we included Blue Water Village to... Um, up our population and he's into her so we're gonna see if we can snag a first kiss today um from melody tinker here um that way she gets married off and he's found somebody and everybody's happy go lucky let's see can we get a first kiss today we're gonna get one i'm not seeing any more options opening up um okay there are crushes i don't see other options however um i don't i'm pretty sure i paid my bills i don't know why that reminder keeps coming up oh okay we got sweet talk i want to kiss her before she goes home oh 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 wait 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 okay she's not into that she's not into that but bro she doesn't like the sweet talk i think you're moving too fast okay i don't think we're gonna get a kiss today <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a kiss today. All right. So you know what? Maybe we should just let her go home. Because I don't think we're getting a kiss. Um, should we try that again? If we try one more time. Let's see. Maybe. Um, let's try that one more time. One more time. Because he's hungry. Okay. Oh, was she into it? Oh, she was into it. Okay, hold on. So let's keep going with that. Um, I guess she changed her mind. She was playing hard to get, but now she's um, she's uh, following my lead here. All right, let's do some hugging. Come on, let's get a kiss. Please don't reject him for a kiss. I swear to God, you reject him for a kiss, you're in big trouble. That's my little boy here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, wait. I got to take a screenshot. Now, it's not going to be a great screenshot because my camera is right here, but... Let me just move myself out of the way so, and then I'll crop it or something. I'll crop it. Mm, beautiful. All right. So we've got a screenshot. He's got his first kiss going. He's a happy-go-lucky camper. All right. So now you can send her home. Get out of here. All right. So I'm just going to keep playing through. I'll send 
um, Talia to college. And if anything else happens, I will let you guys know. All right, everyone. So it is almost the end of the sim week. So what we are going to do, I did end up getting Monique's computer. Okay, I have it. I got some futuristic holographic one over here. Um, but we have Monique's computer. So the first thing I want to do is I want to... First of all, let's apply for scholarships with Talia. She needs to go to college. So she's got 1750 Okay, so she still owes seven seven fifty. Um, now here's the thing. How do I Okay, hold on. So when they say deposit, what do they mean deposit? Like what does that mean, deposit? Oh, you can take out a loan? Okay, transmit money to bank accounts to household funds playable. Like you can send money from account from house to house. Well, first of all, let's donate the whatever ten thousand that she owes to college. It's actually seven thousand five hundred, but that's okay. Um, and then let's actually donate another now how do I hmm I wonder if there's a way like can she put her own can she have her own bank account or is it for how per household my account oh okay so it's per sim so she can deposit well she doesn't really need to yet I guess she's in college she's gonna go to college she's gonna make a bunch of money from studying and getting great good grades anyway so let's just donate mm, this is going to be a little hard to figure out let's donate fifty thousand to charity to my government okay because i need another after this i need another 50 and then i can unlock twiki island so we've got the 50 so now she's going to move to college so let's move to college let's say bye bye to talia everybody um the other update is um, Eric is really just doing skills, the middle child, just doing skills um, to prepare for college, nothing really exciting. Hector, on the other hand, is dating, officially dating um, Melody Tinker. So he's set up, he's got somebody that he's gonna love, okay? Um, but that's basically it for this household, everyone. So let's go to the next household. All right, guys, so hello. I have been playing the Kramer household. So the Kramer household is in this house that I downloaded. I did not build it. However, it was a non-custom non content. Ooh, well, maybe there was some custom content because something's missing here. Anyway, um, that's fine. So this was the house I downloaded and I didn't like the way it was furnished. So I refurnished it and I'm pretty proud of how I furnished it like I love my living room love the kitchen I mean it's very basic but love the dining room um, I'm into the bedrooms the bathroom could get the bathrooms could get some updating but um, it's fine for now and um, I did get uh, the computer oh I mentioned that in the last clip okay sorry I, I've been up since 3 a.m. so what did I okay so we're now we're playing the Kramer household and this is Lucy um, Brown so she, if you remember, had a one night stand with Amelia, with Zachary Spitzig, and she got pregnant and she had Amelia. But the thing is, poor Lucy died of the flu, and Amelia was sent to the orphanage, and then someone resurrected her, and then Amelia found her mother after graduating college, and they moved in together. And Amelia here ended up marrying George Kramer, one of the many sons sons of Billy Kramer, who also had his own problems with death in his family and stuff like that and they have two kids ryan and ruby ryan this sim week i played through the sim week he turned into a teenager um his eyebrows could get fixed but uh, they're catching up on homework because i did let the last three days go on free will mode i did let them just play while i was doing something else again um and this kid's a little unfortunate looking maybe she'll look better as a teenager but she turned up she she uh, aged up. Oh, we need to pay some bills. Go pay these bills, dude. All right. So um, the kids are aged up. She's going to die soon. Um, Lucy's going to die. They're going to turn into elders. And the kids need to catch up on homework. That's basically it with this household. Um, they're working. But the thing is, I do want to donate the rest of the... 
the other 50,000 that I owe. And that way, um, my Tweaky Island is paid off. Now, I'm not going to buy it yet. I'll buy it at the end of the sim week. Because having a million donations in my in my inventory, okay, at the end of the cycle, I get some percentage bonuses due to the mayor that we picked. And um, so I keep, I'll keep the million there. I'll add the percentage that gets added at the end of the cycle. And then I'll buy Tweaky Island and we'll do a recount, okay? But that's at the end of the cycle. So um, that was fast. So let's go to the next household. We're playing the Fairchilds, which I love. I love this family. So let's go to the Fairchilds. All right. So um, the next household we are playing are the Cook slash the Fairchilds. So let me explain here because everybody's gotten old and you might not recognize them. Jane Fairchild here got married to Nathaniel Fairchild. Um... And they are all Fairchilds. Um, why did he take the last name Fairchild? Did I have her take continue the Fairchild last name? Is that what I did? Because he's a Richardson, technically. I'm not sure why they're not Richardsons. Did I decide... Like, did I do that on purpose? Did I decide because there were no Fairchilds to keep on the family last name? That must be what I did. Right, because the the other Fairchild took the Hannah last name. They're Hannahs. I don't see any more Fairchilds in my list. So I must have done that to keep the Fairchild last name in my game. Okay, so, well, Nathaniel was a Richardson. He is a grandson of the founding family, who is now an elder. Um, and he ended up marrying Jane Fairchild. Now, Jane Fairchild was the daughter of Julian Cook and Sandy Fairchild. So this was an affair that Sandy had with... Julia. Now, Sandy had actually um, taken Jane, like she got pregnant while she was with Jane, but she was living with um, Luke Simmons at the time, and Luke Simmons actually thought that Jane was his child, and then they got a divorce when he realized that neither Athena, who is the girl with the black hair over here, that neither Athena nor Jane were his children, his biological children, and only Calypso was his biological child and then there was a whole big drama there but anyway so Jane ended up figuring out who her real father was ended up having a relationship with him I think she lived with him for a while before he passed and anyway she married Nathaniel they had three girls I love families like this where they have either three boys or three girls because I think it's so cute um, but they had them like pretty quickly like one after the other um, they so they are all teenagers right now, but Peyton is the one who's going to college because she's the oldest, and I need to send her to college right now. So they all really look alike. They all just look like their mom, the way their mom did when she was their age. Um, so I want to have her apply for scholarships first. I want to see what she's got. A thousand, seven fifty, seven fifty. So that's uh, two fifty, a uh, one fifty, two fifty. So she owes seventy five hundred in. Um, she owes seventy five hundred. So we're gonna pay five thousand. We're gonna pay. We're gonna pay the two thousand, and then we're gonna pay. Is there a way to do five thousand, five hundred? Yeah. Okay. So she's paid her tuition. So now. Um, I want for her to get. I want to see how this works. Like. So she can have her own bank account is that what we're talking about here so if she deposits money in her bank account right so if her parents give her let's say like ten thousand right then she can take it to college with her technically and that's her personal bank account right so if i check money bank account she's got ten thousand and then i'm sure she can withdraw that right okay yeah so she can transmit bank accounts what is that I don't know what that is, but anyway, um, transmit money to bank accounts. I don't know. I've never, I've never worked with this before, so I don't know how this works. But anyway, I think I just put 10,000 in her bank so she can take it to college with her. Maybe she'll actually get, um, an apartment or a place to work at home. Oh, okay. I don't know what this. Anyway, let's take her to school. Let's send her to school. How do I do that? college let's have her move to college she has no love interest so I'm hoping that in the college neighborhood I can have her 
find someone hopefully. Um, and I'm also thinking because there's so many kids there right now that I'm going to break up that playthrough. So I'm thinking at the beginning of next episode, I will go to the college and I will play one household. Um, because I don't think I can do all those sims in one playthrough. It's going to be miserable. So I'm going to go see if I can find a couple, like a ready couple, to just get together, put them into a house, build a house for them, and it'll also expand my neighborhood, but right? And then play through them, graduate them, and then add them to the end of the list. And then, like, over time, like, play a couple of families. Because there's going to be more than eight, so I'm going to have to do many households anyway. And I don't want to do that all at once. Um, so anyway, Peyton has now moved. Um, and now we have Nadia and Blair left. Blair is the youngest. Nadia is the middle child. Um, they're all done with their homework, so it's just playing the weekend. They barely work. They're not retired, but they don't really work that much anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, they have plenty of money. We can also actually donate 50000 to the neighborhood. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to donate 50000 So let's go. No, what am I? What do I want to do here? Bank online, donate money, 50000 is what I want to do. All right. So that's been done. He donated 50000 to charity. And um, now I can go add that to my document. Okay. And this family doesn't have a whole lot to do left. Um, we're just going to play through the rest of this household and uh, play through the weekend. Um, she, now someone had a love interest here. I don't think it was her. Was it her? No. No, no one has a love interest in this family. They're all related. That's the problem. Um, he's uh, an NPC. I don't want him in my neighborhood. Everybody. Oh, no. She was into, is she into Dalton Richardson? Um, okay, so I can work on getting Nadia with Dalton. I don't know if Dalton already has someone. That's the problem. I don't know. Did I already play Dalton? Yeah, I played Dalton. I don't know if he has someone, but we might as well check him out. I don't even think he's in college yet anyway, so I think that they can chat. So I'll work on their relationship, but otherwise nothing really is going to happen. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, next time we're playing... Kramers and Owens and Richardsons and all sorts of people here. So uh, I'm going to end this episode here and I hope you have a great day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care and bye-bye.